Yo guys, what's up? Demon Killer here, back with another review. Uh, today we're going to be doing the Geek Vape Starry Night 235 watt kit. Um, this is, well, was up until I got the uh, drag, the vape that I used the most, but now, meh, I still use it fairly often, but yeah, anyway, looking at the box, there's not a whole load to the box. There's basically the front, which says Geek Vape, at the bottom there, powered with 21700 technology, Starry Night, besides it says Geek Vape, then on the back, it just says Blade Kit, the company's name, there is a Sparkle Mint Scratch and Sniff over there, yeah, you can see that, and then other than that, there's actually nothing else in the box, but that's the box. Uh, this is the kit. I know that you can buy the mod on its own as well. Um, I got the kit. I only had the option to get the kit. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's the box. whoop de do. Next we have the manual. Little book style manual, which as you know from my previous videos, I'm quite a fan of the book style manual. I don't enjoy the stupid pamphlets that you fold out like the medicine pamphlets you can see there's a whole bunch of information on here a whole bunch of different languages blah 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 quite a nice little booklet what I like about Geekvape and this is why I truly support Geekvape is that when you buy a mod like you look at the box uh, okay let me see uh, you look at the pamphlet it's branded the same way like it looks good all this shit is uniform I have the same thing with the Mac Pro box beautiful same thing with the uh, review, the Master Kit V3 that I did. Same kit also looks great. Like, all looks pretty uniform. Then we have, I believe this is, yeah, this is warning cards. Basically, you get a little picture of the other blade kits that you get. It's like a little card. Uh, there's a little warning card. Um, do not use this device for anything other than vaping, blah blah blah. Um, and then you've got your little warranty card. That's pretty universal throughout most mods you're going to get that. Um, you know, something along those lines, it won't always come in a, a nice little envelope with a nice little geek vape. Yeah, check that out, all shiny and shit man. Nice, nice. Okay, so... We then have a replacement glass for the Aero Subarm tank. It comes with obviously a replacement coil, which is a 0.15. The one that it comes with, I believe, is a 0.3, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. You get a whole load of O-rings in here. Never needed a single one of these. Used both of the coils. I honestly won't be buying more. It comes with a little 510 adapter there that you can see. Um, the actual Aero tank. Very minimally protruding 510 pin, sure as hell would never use that on a hybrid mechanical mod. Um, which are a pretty basic sort of thing, it has a little 810 drip tip on it. Um, you take that off, put in the 510 adapter, and then yeah, you've got bottom airflow, fully adjustable. It's really nice, it's a really nice sub ohm tank, but I mean, once you get into the rebuilding, like meh. It's never really as good, but so yeah, that is the Aero Suburban Tank. Nothing really exciting there. Uh, what else do you get? What else do you get? What else do you get? You got your USB cable, which is kind of funky. Okay, uh, it's funky in one way that I don't like because these little caps that come with it, like, like it really takes me zero effort to get this on and off. So let's see if you can see that. That is an iPhone connection. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't actually tested to see if this will work in an iPhone because I know that iPhones have that cable security, so you can't just use random cables. But then if you look here, you basically pull this piece out, boom, and, okay, it's going to come out this side, and right there you have your micro USB. So that basically plugs into the back of that, and then you've got your USB on the other side, your standard USB. And yeah, so I did what I said I hate doing. I've shown you everything else before I've actually shown you the device. Here is my starry night, and I say my starry night because every single one of these that I have seen is unique. 
But I do believe that is one of the selling points, is that each one of these is wrapped with a different section of wrap, you could say, so that no one is the same. What I have noticed is there's two very distinct styles. So there's one with a lot of blue, which, like this blue here, you get a lot of that, and it's a really, really dark mod. But to be honest with you, that like I knew that was an option, and I got mine brand new out the box, like sealed. I could have said, oh, I don't want that one, it's crappy. Like, I want a dark blue one. But to me, I think the ones with the yellow, oh, now we're going to get so much glare, you're not going to be able to see. The ones with the yellow are a lot nicer. Like the lighter, the reds, the yellows, you still have the nice effect of the dark blues and the dark reds in there. But I feel like overall it's a much brighter, nicer looking mod. Like the dark blues, like you can get plenty of mods that are dark blue, black, like like greens, dark greens. I mean, you've got the drag right here that's a really dark green. Like that's real easy to get. So for me, I thought this was much more unique. I mean, apart from the fact that every one is pretty much individual, it's a pretty cool thing. Obviously, you've got your fire button here that has a ring that lights up. You can change the color of that. Uh, you have your plus minus buttons here, your micro USB there. I have the Medusa RDTA from the Mech Pro, also a Geekfay product on here. Love it. It's the best thing I've ever used. Amazing. And we've got the screen, which, of course, we're not going to be able to see on this camera because it wants to play games. Oh, there we go. So yeah, you can kind of slightly see that. It's got the wattage, the coil, the amps, and there it turned off. It has the voltage and the puff counter at the bottom. Then you could do that, and you can change through to basically your different modes. So you've got your different firing modes going through there. We've got... Okay, so I'll just read them out because you can't see them. We have the power mode, which is wattage. We've got... Uh, Nickel temperature control, stainless steel temperature control, titanium temperature control. Uh, forget what that one is. <laughs> um, then you've got the variable puff control, which has this little graph. Um, and then basically you can adjust the strength over a, I think it's a 2.5 second drag or something like that. Uh, then you also have the bypass mode. Uh, which turns it into basically an unregulated build. Um, and then, yeah, basically, if you hold in the plus and minus buttons, you have the options there to change. So there, you can see I'll put red on. So there we've got red. Then we've got green. And then we could go purple. Then you can have all of them on. I don't know, it's like some weird, like a little bit of orange in the purple. But yeah, for right now, I think I'm gonna run. You know what? Let's run red. I haven't run red in a while. Yeah, so there we go. Nice red button when you fire it. And yeah. So basically, 235 watt mod. Um, and I will say that this is one of the best mods you could buy for one very simple reason. When I bought this, I already had dual 18 650s, which are sitting right here. You guys have seen them before. There's the green one that I did the rewrapping video on. Um, and yeah, basically, the really cool thing about this mod is that what is in here right now, as you can see right there, those are 21 700s. Okay, so it can take 21 700s, it could take uh, 20 700s and then it could take 18 650s so I'm going to show you how that works so basically you take this and you put it through the back of this battery sled so basically if you're using the 20 700s or the 21 700s you'll take this out this comes with it um, and then basically you just get it on the string or on the uh, little battery strap here and it just guides it straight in. You connect the ports in there, and as you can see, the negative ports are still the negative ports, and then it's got little positive ports that attach to the positive ports at the top there. It's actually a negative and a positive port. Um, okay, anyway, so then we're going to basically 
Um, put these in. So boom. Uh, yeah, yes, yes. Got, it is that like a lot of Got that in. And then got that in. Okay. okay. And I feel like I've done this the wrong way. Somewhere. That's in there. And, oh, come on. Okay, that's in there. And that's in there. And it's not firing for some reason. Which is a little bit unknown to me. To be completely honest, because I was using these batteries yesterday. So let me see if I pull this lid out. Okay, just make sure the slit's in proper contact there. Let's maybe use this one on this side. And this one on this side. Hmm, and it's still not working. That is very interesting. I'm not a hundred percent sure why it's not working. Hmm, okay, that's awkward as well. Um Yeah, that is kinda interesting. Let's do a test quickly. Because maybe, just maybe, something has gone wrong with these batteries. So let's take this and put it in here. Okay, and take this and put it in here. No, fire's just fine. So clearly something wrong with the battery sled, which is great. Big perk. <laughs> um, might also be something I'm doing wrong. So I can't actually entirely complain about that, but to be honest, I've been using this mod for a while. So I really don't believe it's something that I'm doing wrong. Um, I don't know that sounds a little bit up my own ass, but w once you've been using a vape for three months, you kind of get to know how it works and how it goes together and when it's going to fire and when it's not going to fire. But anyway, so that is one of the major big perks about it is that you could use 18650s, 21700s, and 2700s all in the same mod. And I'll be honest, I haven't really seen much of a difference. Um, obviously the 21700s last a little bit longer, um, purely on the milliamp hour. Yeah, you see, weird. Really weird. Because I put the 21700s back in, and boom. Perfectly fine. Yeah, so... I honestly don't know why the 18650s aren't working in here because like I say they're working in the uh, drag RDA, I mean drag mod, um, but yeah, anyway, whatever, doesn't matter, life goes on. I use the 18650s for here and I use the 21700s for here, so it doesn't really matter if the 18650s don't work in here because they're meant for this, so not a big deal. But that tray is included and I'm sure I could figure out why it's not working. I feel like maybe I'm being an idiot, I'm not sure, but meh, whatever. So yeah guys, that is the Geek Vape Starry Night. One thing I've noticed is that when you put this thing down, it gets damaged on the bottom, like the wrap gets a bit damaged, but meh. Like I said, I've had it for three months. It's been put in my car's cup holder. It's been just like put down on my TV stand. It's been put down outside on the concrete when I'm working out with the plants. I just put it down next to me. So maybe it hasn't had the mo like I could be putting it down on nice mats and things and it would be looked after a little bit better. But I use my vapes. They're not just displayed on a shelf like a lot of people. So. For me, I don't expect my vapes to look perfect forever. 
But yeah, anyway guys, that was the story night. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you soon. Cheers.